what's going on lovely good people it's your boy luke man and today i'm not gonna lie to you i feel extremely lazy to do a lot of things and i think to myself you know what though i want to be a millionaire but this is not the way to achieve that and i thought about where i was coming from from last year may when i quit my job as a registered nurse till now when we are in going into august right now and i'm just getting ready to close on my two hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars home and i was like you know what though being lazy is not a choice and i thought to myself what do millionaires really do to get to where they need to get to how did they become millionaire because it's not really easy to get up every day and have this motivation to want to do things then i thought about my i thought about it myself how can i always make sure that i get things that i need to do get them done so that way i can work my way up to becoming a millionaire really i want to have money not because i really want to show up but, but because i want to impact people currently i have over 80 kids that come around to my office over the weekend and i teach them a lot of things and feed them for free so i can't afford to be lazy here are the ways i've come up with to ensure that you get things done each and every day and to here's the way i figure out to do it and i guarantee each and every day when i apply this I get things done number one is when i'm lazy i do not blame myself i believe it's normal to be lazy i believe it's normal to feel tired but i do not give in to being tired rather i pick myself up take a hot shower and sometimes i take tea and coffee right okay so the next thing is i do not really overthink what i have to do i process what i have to do I have the map of what I'm what I'm trying to do in my head, but I do not try to overthink it to the point that I become that I become overwhelmed with the thoughts and I can't get anything done. So number one, feeling feeling lazy and feeling overwhelmed about things is normal, but do not give in to it. Number two, don't overthink things. Just don't overthink things because the more you overthink all these things, the more complicated they become. Right? Just go ahead, give it a thought. Why are you doing it? inspirations will come and you will be able to get it done number three when i want to do something i make sure that i start as soon as i think about it as soon as i think about it get up take a shower get my coffee i want to start as soon as possible because when i do not start on time i tend to find that distraction setting and i tend to postpone that thing and nothing scares me more than postponing all my tasks because i know for every day that i lose i'm one day away from becoming a billionaire right okay so number four is i try to break my things down in chunks and what do i mean by that i try to write them down like from this time to this time i want to do this and i usually do that the night before the night before i write down everything that i have to do the next day so next day when i come in i know where to start from and i just go ahead and check them off as i go like today for instance came in here earlier even before my interns and i tried to get to work as soon as i got here i got a lot of things done before they got here recorded about four or five videos and of course this one is now one of them so this is about my sixth video today because i want to make sure that i post my video today and i did that i worked out i talked to them gave them their task and above all i am recording this video so about it i've actually done a lot of things today and that's because i got up and i give it a push so next one is i do not give in to time wasters things like facebook things like instagram things like you know all these time wasters even my emails have you found out that sometimes when those emails come and you just want to check them right away and a lot of those emails are not important so what i try to do is to assign a time of the day to when i check my emails and respond to them i do not do that all the time because if i do you might be in your inbox trying to see if you can uh, just respond to an email and sometimes you just find yourself scrolling through those emails that you don't need and you waste a lot of time doing that and lastly I try to be as disciplined as possible. I'm gonna have a screensaver that shut me off once I've been on Facebook for one hour, after which I cannot see Facebook for the rest of the day unless I'm setting up a campaign. So here's what happened. If you will also apply this to your life, I guarantee you're gonna start seeing success and here before I go, there is actually a funnel that I stumbled upon that allowed Tony Robbins, Dean Graziosi, and of course, uh, Russell Brunson make over 29 million dollars and here's what I've done how I have built that entire funnel from ground up and I'm recording the videos on how I do that and of course I'm gonna explain in those videos the marketing strategy that this guy deployed that allowed them to make over 29 million dollars within less than a week and I'm gonna be sharing those videos with you just maybe 
someday you're going to thank me for it all right i'm going to be seeing you later and do not forget to like this video and of course subscribe to this channel so when next i come up with videos like this you will be the first to be notified you have a good one